We have a little tradition in our family. Every summer around July or August, we head out to the woods to some spots that we know and forage for chanterelle mushrooms. in our area is that nobody really goes out and looks for the chanterelles and they are more abundant than morels. They are easier to spot and they, in my opinion, taste even better. They're so good on pizza and eggs in a stir-fry dish. They are just so delicious. So to be sure that we are eating the right mushrooms and not inadvertently poisoning ourselves, we have a field guide that is specific to our state and it shows each mushroom and the potential poisonous lookalikes as well as some information on when they are out, what season they're in, the color, the, the smell so that we can be sure. Some other mushrooms that we've eaten in our state are black trumpets, Cinnabars, we've eaten one, it's something blue, it's like an inky blue mushroom that was good. We've tried oysters, hen of the woods. There are so many out in our area that are delicious. woods with a basket of chanterelles. I made some sourdough pizza crust, topped it with some cream sauce, bacon, fresh herbs from the garden, and our chanterelles. We've also done some forays with the Missouri Mycological Society so that we can actually train one-on-one -on -one with the experts to know what it is we're finding. So this is something that our family really enjoys. Obviously be double and triple sure that you know what you're doing because it can be dangerous. There are mushrooms in our area that can poison people. So it's one of those things you have to be really careful and know what you're doing. But we've enjoyed for many years foraging for wild edibles. It is just so fun and so tasty if you know what you're doing. Thanks for watching this short little video on one of our family's favorite summer activities. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you.